Hi Monster, hi fans, it's Lexa here. Today we're gonna do Vipering Gorgon, a long awaited video, and let us get started. So starting off with my fresh oily face, I'm gonna use my Irma Decay Eye Primer Potion and just put this on my eyelids and then pat all around my eyes. Next, I'm using my NYX Butt Naked Eyes palette. I'll be using this dark brown color there. And I'm just going to run this through my brows. I have been loving this color. It's matched my hair color pretty well since I have dyed it again. Yes, I dyed it again. So just run this through your brows or whatever you like to do for your brows. I'm also going to use my Jordana dark brown eyebrow pencil and just run this kind of under the bottom and a little bit through my tails just to make everything even and not look so spotty. Now I'm using, I believe it's from my Sigma Cream de Couture palette, I believe the color is Cherry Blossom. It's like a nice light pink since I don't have a pink wig or a blonde and pink wig to go with her whole complete look. I wanted to add the pink in there somewhere. Yep, there it is. Cherry Blossom from Sigma. And then I'm taking this dark brown color from the outside, also from the Sigma Cream de Couture palette. It's called Cafe Au Latte or something like that. I'll have all the names in the bottom bar down below. Now I'm using my NYX. I believe it's Cottage Cheese is the color. It's like a nice uh, pearly, milky white color and I just put this in the inner rim of my eyes to make my eyes appear a little bit bigger, more cartoon-like. I'm taking this dark brown color that I've used again from the Sigma palette and just kind of uh, tight rimming my under where we just put the white. Now I'm using my Lancome Art Line. I always want to call it Art Pop. My Art Line Liquid Liner and I'm just putting this on my top lash line. Just kind of making... Um, my top line a little bit bolder. Now I'm using my Buxom Sample Mascara and I always say this because it's true. I love this mascara so, 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 so much. I really want to buy the full size sample. If you guys have the full size sample, the full size product, if you guys have it, please tell me if you love it down below. I'm using my Urban Decay Setting Spray, just setting my face, and then I put on some false lashes. Um, I believe I just used some Kiss ones. And then I went back over that again with my Lancome art line. Of course I have to sing to you. Now I'm using my MAC Fortified Skin Enhancer. I'm putting this right under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my lip, and like the, my upper lip, my chin, and my forehead space. just kind of going to act as my brightener. Now I'm using my Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Foundation in the color 250. And I'm just going to put this on all over my face. Since I'm super pale right now, I had to go out and buy a foundation that actually fit me. Since I was in love with the consistency before, I just went ahead and went with the same one I've already had. And throughout this video, um, my friend was on the phone talking to me, so I apologize for singing. And my friend called me, so if I look extremely spacey, that's why. I'm using my Sin Secrets Just Loose Translucent Powder and putting this on with my Makeup Forever Kabuki Brush. I'm using my NYX Matte Bronzer and Medium, taking this around my temples and right under my cheekbone, trying to create some false sense of cheekbone or kind of something like that, since I have none. Now I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm taking this with a tulipy shaped brush from Real Techniques and just kind of making a fishy face and then right under my actual little row bone. Now I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash Clear Brow Gel and I am just running this through my brows just to set them and make them super beautiful. Now I am starting to draw the little scales or they're kind of like diamonds on the forehead uh, brow area space. 
So I am using my MAC Cherry Lip Pencil. And the bottom I just started as a deep red and then I just went up into a pink. I just kind of outlined everything at the moment. So I started off with two right in between my eyebrows. And then I just gradually went up until I went back to two, I believe, or two or three. Um, I think she has more of like a lavender purple magenta look going on. But I decided to go with red and pink. So if you want to go more towards like the movie route, I don't know. I saw both like red and pink or pink and purple. Um, so I just did this with my NYX hot pink eyeshadow and hot red eyeshadow. So I am just kind of filling in the cherry lip pencil with a small detail brush from MAC. Um, I'm using hot red and <laughs> of course I'm singing. See you. I just sped this up really fast. Um, and sorry about, I like moved my computer over so you can see part of my messy bed. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I try not to keep this in the frame anymore since people have told me that I need this messy. Which I apologize again for. So Viperine is probably my favorite monster so far because it says she is a makeup artist like me. So I connected with her and I had a lot of fun making this even though my friend called me like right in the middle of uh, making this. I'm sorry I didn't have my hair pulled back before. I don't think about a lot of things before I start to film. Or when I do think about a lot of things I feel like I rush the video and just don't take my time with the makeup. Anyway. So I just made it kind of a, gra a gradient effect, getting lighter, it's lighter on the top and then darker on the bottom. And I believe I used Pink Nouveau as my lipstick here, because it's not as bright as candy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, she's probably my new favorite monster. I will get to doing all the new, 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 like freaky, fabulous monsters and stuff like that or Freaky Fusion or whatever they're called and I am also working on a lot of other requests that you guys have made for me. I am just very slow at editing. Um, I just got my internet back on. I had it, I didn't have it for like a month so that is why I've been pretty much absent and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Love you all. Bye!